Uh, I've decided tonight we're going to go ahead and take a little break from Strange New Worlds and dip into a little bit of beta canon. So, this being the uh, third time that we have attempted to get this episode going, and the third time that I've asked this question, uh, what are your thoughts on Beta Canon? What's your experience with it so far? Well, obviously, being being the age that I am, um, there was a quite a bit of time that Beta Canon was really all there was to explore. So, before the release of Next Generation, when I was about four, 14, there were a number of Star Trek novels that were released. There was some weird stuff in them, man, but there were, <laughs> there were some good ones too, you know. Um, there were novelizations of the original episodes in which Scotty was always a redhead for some reason. Um, there were post the motion picture books. The Entropy Effect, I think, might be the one I'm thinking of. But Sulu's got long hippie hair and a and a uh, like a Lemmy from Motorhead mustache. Yep. There's there's some weird stuff they did in them, but I always enjoyed it. There was always something you could do in a novel you couldn't do on TV or a movie that they did. Oh yeah, and that was always fun. Oh yeah, and one of the things that I've noticed particularly going about the novels that they really try and have fun with is a lot of the names of the non-human characters that they have on the ships. Because, you know, uh, of course, the bulk of them take place on the Starship Enterprise, just as a lot of the bulk of the better episodes of Star Trek do. But uh, they really, with the novels, they just will go all over the place. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And they will go take a look at this completely innocuous uh, research and reconnaissance vessel that's flung to the complete backwater of space and make a whole adventure out of their mission and their things that they have going on and that all takes place in the background of the next generation or the original series or wherever it's set. And you'll have names that I'm not even going to try and pronounce yeah. because they just absolutely don't make sense on paper. Some kind of Lovecraftian nonsense going on there well, a little they'll, bit. They'll be Lovecraftian. They'll do things where they'll be bird people. Cause yeah, I mean, obviously you couldn't do actual bird people with feathers and that sort of thing. Oh yeah. On TV, but you can do it in a book or of course, everybody's current favorite cetacean ops. Exactly. Got to love cetacean ops. 